Hey there, welcome back. So last week we talked about cognitive biases, specifically the better than average effect. And if you missed it, I'll add a link to that in the blog post. But I can always tell when a nugget really resonates with people because of the number of responses that I get. And this one really hit home, so I thought I would dig a little deeper into bias. And one of my favorite authors is Dan Ariely. And Ariely is a professor of psychology and behavioral economics at Duke University. And he's also the founder for the Center of Advanced Hindsight, which just sounds really cool. And he delivered a TED Talk in which he shared this optical illusion, which is a really great metaphor for irrationality. When you look at the Rubik's Cube and the blocks um, that the two arrows are pointing to, what color is the top block? And what color is the bottom block? Well, it turns out that if I cover up all of the other blocks, you can see very clearly that they are both identical. But when I put all of the colors back, the optical illusion comes back. Now, now that I've proven to you that they're the same color, surely you would see, you would be able to see that they're the same color. But no, even though you know they're the same color, your brain is still tricked. There's no way for us to not see this illusion, but your perception of an illusion has much more to do with how your brain works and less to do with how your eyes work. Now, while the eye and the brain work together as a partnership, ultimately we see whatever our brain thinks we should see. And even though all the necessary visual information is there, sometimes there's a conflict between the eye-brain system about what's really going on. And that's when clues are misread or misinterpreted or the brain takes shortcuts. If you think of these shortcuts that result in visual illusions as a metaphor for cognitive biases, it's really easy to understand them that way. They happen in the subconscious all the time, but even when we bring our conscious attention to them, it's really hard for us to see our own. If you wanna learn more about cognitive biases and the way they influence irrational decision-making and judgments and assumptions, check out my blog post. You can also access this free white paper, 10 Cognitive Biases at Work in the Workplace. And if you wanna learn more about how the brain works and how to make it work better, check out my book, Happier Hour with Einstein, and the full-color Companion Gratitude Journal available now on Amazon.